So welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 87 from 4. So today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to my predictions I did for the season. I did like a general predictions thing. Um, and then I also did elimination order. See how that went. I then give you guys my thoughts on some of the spoilers or stuff, the big topics this season. You know, I'm not going to go into too much of it. Um, I don't like this video too long, but, you know, we'll make it. And like I said, guys, this will be a spoiler-filled one. So if you have not seen the season, please do not watch this video. Without further ado, let's go and get started. So let's start with the first boot. Oh, my God. I, my first boot, I predicted Wayne. Wayne. That was such a brick prediction, such a garbage prediction. Uh, that was such a really bad prediction. So first boot was Wayne. Now, to be fair, I don't think I could have called the first boot. That was really hard to predict. Uh, but still, that, that's such a bad prediction. Let's see what else I said. Um, uh, then um, antagonist, I said Raj. That was also another brick call from me. Ended up being, obviously, so the first elimination was obviously Caleb. And the antagonist, you could maybe say it's both Julia and Bowie uh, for the antagonist. And then let's see. Blindside, upset, Priya. Yeah, I, I guess you, I, I guess I could see where it's coming from. You know, I felt like she was too good at the challenges. I had it a feeling she would dominate. She didn't really dominate, though, to be fair. I mean, she still won, obviously, but still, I, I guess an upset would have been Caleb. I guess he would have been upset, you know, he didn't expect to get out first, you know, he was, you know, it was actually interesting, I believe he is the first person in total history to be eliminated um, without, like, being a strategy reason why, not like an obvious reason why. Most challenge wins, oh my god. Ah, this is a brick prediction, oh my god, I'm ashamed of these predictions, I predict the scary girl to win most of these challenges, what was I thinking? Oh my god, that is garbage. I mean, to be fair, I don't think I called. I could have called Julia because I didn't expect her to make that U-turn of a character. But still, wow. At the winner. Oh, my God. These My finals. Okay, you know what? I'll give some credit to Ripper because at least I called Ripper to make the merge. But, oh, my God. I predicted MK and Ripper as the finalist? I mean, come on. This was such a brick predictions. Really, really trash predictions, guys. So, now, let's look at uh, my predictions for the season. So... Let me get it up right here, guys. So uh, let me sh uh, switch screens. Here we go. So let's do the uh, predictions. So 16th place, I predicted Wayne. Really bad prediction. Millie, really garbage prediction. Millie made the final three. Julia, I believe she ended up fourth place. Uh, terrible prediction there. Chase was another garbage prediction. Emma was another garbage prediction. Uh, Damien. Okay, you know what? I'll give credit for the Damien prediction because at least I called him to go out before the merge. So I, I'll give my po sub points for that, but still, very, very bad prediction. Um, Emma, that was a garbage prediction as well. She made the merge. I believe she finished fifth. I think Chase finished sixth. Uh, Bowie, tenth was garbage prediction. Eight, ninth, Priya is a garbage prediction. Eighth, Emma. Wait, did I put Emma here twice? Oh, my jeez. I put Emma here twice. I put Emma here twice. So who am I missing? Who was that supposed to be? Um, I'm guessing that was supposed to be Axel. Yeah, I didn't put Axel, so I guess Axel would have been eighth. Um, yeah, I have a terrible prediction there. Seventh, Caleb, very bad. Sixth, Scary Girl, very bad. Z, fifth. Fourth, Raj. Third, Nich Nichelle. Um, I think it's Michelle, actually, not Nichelle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Michelle. Garbage prediction, Ripper, bad prediction, and MK. So basically, my predictions overall were garbage. But we have to keep in mind, guys, I was just going by the names on the Total on Wiki website. I obviously, it was very hard to make a predictions call because I didn't know any of these characters beforehand. I just made these characters, um, I just made these characters, um, just, um, um, just, <laughs> just by names, right? So it was very difficult to make uh, predictions for that. But yeah, I mean, these were awful predictions, just to keep it a stack with you guys. So now, let's go look at the spoilers. Let's talk about spoilers, guys. So let me uh, make myself full screen there. Um, oh, sorry. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. Okay, so so let's talk about spoilers, guys. Let's talk about spoilers. So the first elimination was Caleb, which was crazy. I didn't expect Caleb to be the first boot. It was almost like it was going to be Emma. It was almost like the season one, you know, when uh, Courtney and Ezekiel... But, you know, Ezekiel had to go because he made those stupid comments. This time around, though, Caleb didn't cost the team the challenge. It was Emma that cost the team the challenge. So that was very interesting. Um, And, yeah, then obviously we had the Julia. She revealed her colors. 
And I got to say, guys, just based on season one alone, I think Julia might be my favorite character, which I never thought I'd be saying this because she is so interesting. She is so mean. And I just love it. Like, she was like this classic goody goody girl that's all about her looks, you know, all about her appearance and everything like that. And then all of a sudden, she turns into a girl that's like, I don't care what you guys think about me. I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. And she basically turned into a full Courtney, essentially, a total action, essentially. And that's why I really liked it. It just caught me off guard. It just, I just didn't see it coming. So that was really good. Julia did really well. I got to give her credit. And Bowie. I'll get honest with you. I was, I was like, Bowie, I wasn't too sure what I feel about Bowie. And then as the season went on, he became an antagonist. You know, he caused Priya and Millie's friendship to break. Obviously, they two did reconcile. Then obviously, he got Emma eliminated. He got um, Chase eliminated. He got Julia eliminated. So, you know, you could say, well, he didn't really directly cause Chase. Uh, but yeah, he definitely did cost um, Julia for sure. And you could probably say Emma to some extent. So, yeah, Bowie was definitely very cunning. And if you think about it, guys, the final was the protagonist versus the antagonist. That That's what it really came down to. Because Priya was obviously the ma main protagonist. And Ju Bowie was the main antagonist. So it kind of made sense the two of them made the final, right? Even though both of them didn't do so well in the challenges, right? And it was also very interesting was the fact that Priya made the final. Now... I kind of saw, even though I said Priya was going to get upset and not do well, I should have realized that Priya was going to basically be like that Sky and Zoe route from the previous seasons. And I got to admit, of the three characters, I like Priya the most. Because she, I believe she had to work the hardest of the three. She had to grind it the most. And she had, it was so difficult. She had go, went through so much pain. And I really did enjoy the season finale. I thought it was a great finale. You know, Priya and Millie still being for enemies. Well, more on Priya's side. And then they finally did reconcile with the racing there, which was cool. And then Priya actually temporarily teamed up with Bowie to eliminate Millie, you know, which was interesting. And then obviously it was a great old uh, uh, snail. Uh, it was a great old gold race, as you can say. So I just thought for me it was very interesting. And then obviously we also had the first gay relationship, which was crazy, Bowie and Raj. Uh, we'll probably see that more develop next season, which is a very interesting. And Bowie admittedly admits he's gay, which is something that has not happened before. This is the first time we've seen I believe two people of the same gender have a relationship. You know, I know, I believe Cody's kissed Noah, or sorry, I think Noah kissed Cody in season one, you know, accidentally, but it wasn't in a relationship. This is the first time we may see a relationship between Raj and uh, Bowie, which we'll probably, uh, we'll probably talk about in season two. So, I mean, in terms of that, guys, it's going to be very interesting. That, that's what I'm saying, guys. Season two is going to be very interesting. I'm very excited to see what season two offers. And I really hope season two can deliver from this because season one was good, but there's obviously things that they can improve upon. You know, hopefully the eliminations won't be as predictable in season two. Hopefully everything won't be as like straightforward. And you know what, guys, while we're here, guys, let's go ahead and predict the season two boot order. Or actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do this as a YouTube short. I'll do as a YouTube short and I'll, 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 I'll uh, block the comments. I'll block the comments. So I'll do that instead for season two uh, uh, YouTube short instead. So, um, like I said, guys, it's going to be very interesting. So, my, my, like I said, guys, I really did enjoy the season. And like I said, it is the best season since World Tour, as I said, my spoiler-free review. It's just that this season felt, for me, it really peaked once Chase got eliminated. That's when the season really started peaking for me. Because up until then, guys, I'll be honest with you guys, the pre-merge and the merge was kind of boring. It was like, who was going out? You kind of expected and yeah, so like I said, guys, I'm very interested to see what happens. I'm also interested to see what characters that did poorly this season. You know, the likes of Caleb, likes of, you know, um, Damien. They went out the pre-merge, you know. Uh, then Axel went out the pre-merge. I believe there was like six people that went out the pre-merge. So we got Caleb, I believe Scary Girl. Um, I believe we got um, Axel, Michelle, and MK. Um, who else am missing? Yeah. So these characters, I wonder how to see if they're going to do better in season two. Will they make it the merge this time? And will characters from season one don't make the merge? It's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. And the nice thing with season two is just all the same characters. So there's not going to be additional characters, anything like that. It's everyone's going to know each other. And that's going to make season two very interesting. So shout out to Priya for winning Total Drama Island. Um, I don't know what how many countries she's won it. For me personally, if I had to choose a winner, she is the right winner at the end of the day. She does deserve to win it. So, like I said, guys, I, I, I did enjoy the season. It was a good season. I just felt like, for me, it wasn't as good as I 
hoped it would be. But, you know, I'm still happy with the season, and maybe season two will deliver. So, hope you guys did enjoy this episode, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. How you guys feel about the season, if you've already watched it and everything. You know, let me know all that in the comments below. And, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much be about it. And one last thing before I head off. I really hope they don't merge with 10 people because 10 people is too much. It should have just been with eight. I really hope they don't do 10 because 10 is way too much. So we'll see what happens this season two. Of course, I'll be starting the new season tomorrow, guys. Peace out.